What's up, everybody, and welcome to Team Pizza's first impressions of Ninja Gaiden 3! My name is WhatTheFnew, and I will be taking you through the first half hour or so of this game. So if this is your first time going through, I kinda know how you feel. <laughs> Sorry to say, I did have a failed recording of this. As you may know, the Ninja Gaiden series is famous for liquid smooth controls and just absolutely unforgiving difficulty. Like, it is ridiculous. Now, that failed recording I was talking about was on hard mode. Figured I'd be funny and show you guys my inevitable failure, but battles were just taking way too long. I ran out of things to talk about, so we're just going to go down to normal now. I know, boo. Yes, yes, I want to save over. Oh my god. Now, admittedly, I haven't played much of this series thus far. I did pick up Ninja Gaiden 2 maybe like six, seven years back, and I'm sorry, guys. I stuck with that game as long as I possibly could. Then they stuck me in a, in a snow-covered minefield that I had to tiptoe through while some asshole from a window took pot shots at me. This cutscene pretty much just sums up my feelings on the matter. Oh, and by the way, every time you die in that part of Ninja Gaiden 2, you gotta go back to the beginning of the level where you have to fight five giant robots all over again before you even get a second try. Have fun. Yeah, that's pretty much the point of the game where I said, fuck it, and shove the disc up the nearest GameStop employee's ass. Poor guy. <laughs> he was shitting shuriken for weeks. Although if you've seen Robo Geisha, that might not be such a bad thing. Oh, speaking of Robo Geisha, if I have any other fans of that movie studio out there, um, did you know they actually came out with another movie a year or two back? Alien vs. Ninja, I believe it was called. Um, not that alien, mind you, but it is the next best thing. But it brings up an interesting point. Ryu Hayabusa has never fought an alien. Not to my knowledge, anyway. I mean, think about the potential here. Just think about it. I would pay to see a game where E.T. comes down from space, and then Ryu Hayabusa pops up out of nowhere behind him and just slices his head off. <laughs> Man, hey, yeah, I can already imagine this. Alien versus Predator versus Ninja Gaiden. What are you gonna do? Bleed on me? Hey! That could be a game mechanic! You can't attack the aliens directly because you'll take damage from the blood spray. <laughs> I'm already coming, with, uh, coming up with ideas for this. Team Ninja, you listening to this? If you fund it, I will write the whole thing for free. Well, this is a nice little satellite view. What's going down in that part of the world? Any day now, guys. Ah, here we go. I'm a ninja. I love how he has absolutely no purpose. He doesn't need to be right there. He just chooses to stand on the corner of a clock tower just because he can. Oh, come on. Who the hell are these people? I want to get back to the ninja, damn it. Call me Ishigami. Hello, Ishigami. Ministry of Defense. External Affairs. As opposed to A internal affairs? Agency within the ministry. Think of us like you ninja. <laughs> you wish, Grandpa. Less suits, more shuriken. The then I might consider have, taking that comment seriously. Defense Force Special Security Unit. Flight Officer First Class. Psst. Mizuki. Yesterday, the gamers can't see your cleavage. Attack in London. They've taken control of the area around the Prime Minister's residence. Well, sucks to be the Prime Minister. What do you want me to do about it? Not that I don't already so know, do but still. What do you need my help for? Yeah, don't you know I'm busy oh, no. doing absolutely nothing else? We don't need your help. You need ours. Mizuki, show him the video. This was just sent to us by the government. Ugh. 
Hey, be nice to the nameless pedestrian. Bring us Ryu Hayabusa. Bring us Ryu Hayabusa. Oh, don't you, you dare. Nuh-uh. No, you didn't. Ryu you are not going to make me come down there and kick your asses personally. Hayabusa, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Yeah, go ahead. All civilians have been evacuated. Any armed soldiers down there are fair game. Exactly the what I want to hear. The Prime Minister's residence, right? Yes. I'll monitor the situation and guide you from the air. Fair enough. Watch this. I careful, love this. Hayabusa. Careful? I don't need to be careful. I can do this. <laughs> yep, he's dead. Or not, I guess. First time you go through, you actually get an achievement for that. Okay. One thing I want to point out. This reputation these guys have for liquid smooth controls, that's true. Okay? You play this thing for a while, and you realize that is very, very much true. Like, you cannot just mash the button here. You actually have to time it. I want you to pay attention to this real quick. I'm going to be beating up on this guy. I just did a cinematic kill on him. Oh, maybe it'll happen for this dude. Okay, look. I just did a cinematic kill. Oh, he's already dead. Maybe that's just hard mode. Because in that mode, you do a cinematic kill on a soldier, and they still stand up again. It's like, what the hell happened? What went wrong there? Look right there. You clearly saw I just... I dragged my sword into that guy's stomach, and yet, he was still standing up long enough for me to kill him that way. Here it is again! Like, what the hell is going on here? I mean, really? Is he... How do you survive that? How do you honestly go home after that happening to you and live a normal life? You can't! He should have just died right there! I mean, really? Yeah, you're gone. What do you expect, dude? You should have been shooting rockets at a ninja. You should have known that was going to happen. Look at this! These guys are both still standing. It's ridiculous. Oh, no, you didn't. You did not just try and kick me. Knives, please. At least draw your firearm so I can take chip damage. Okay. Is it just me or are my attacks getting short or getting longer? Like my sword, as you'll notice, is like covered in blood or something. Uh, now we got this phase. If this were hard mode, there'd be two other guy, two other assholes here shooting rockets at me on the corners. Yeah, I tended to pay attention to that fact because they killed me. See, it's over already. This took me like five extra minutes on hard mode. Okay, I'll spare you. Ryu. Ryu. Hello. I said I want to spare him. No. Ryu, what are you doing? should have never taken this job. Ryu, hello, are you listening to me? Go back, back. I want to spare his life, seriously. I got a family, mate. Come on, y you gotta understand. Ryu, back off, man. I know you're a ninja, and I know you succeed at killing people, but really, I'm okay. I don't need to kill every single soldier in the... You're not even listening to me at this point, are you? Listen, I'm just trying to feed my kid. Please! Don't come any closer. Sorry, dude. Unless I kill you, the game won't progress. <sighs> you... <coughs> You're not human. <sighs> nope. I'm a ninja. Ninjas are not human. Didn't you know that? You also get a, an achievement Something's for doing there. that, by the way. Why? I have no idea. Is it just like a congratulations trophy for 
saying, hey, you actually survived the first battle. Good for you. Also, I like how the quick time event immediately tests the new ability you just learned right there. Slide. Hit. Go under. No, oh, can't go that way. How about, how about we go this way? There's an alley nearby. Hurry. There we go. Looks like you got rid of it. For now. I'm pretty sure you I'll have to fight it again later. Don't around. you worry. This is no normal coup d'état. What tipped you off to Dead that? End. You have to find another route. Find another route. I'm a ninja. I make my route. Fine. Here we go. Very well, then. Okay, so... Ah! Okay. I did this on my first try the first time. Okay. Alright, there we go. That's what I need to do. Oh, come on. Eh. And climb. Hey! Get out of here! Boy, that brings back bad memories, I tell ya. Never gonna play that game again, I swear to nice god. Work, ninja. I've actually heard talk that this game is easier than the other Ninja Guidance, but really, I'm not gonna hold my breath. You talking about me behind my back, assholes? Because I'm behind your back, and let me remind you, I'm a ninja. So I can make you regret that. No sign of target yet. Oh no, this is what I'm talking Roger that. about. Keep looking. We actually get to be stealthy for a little bit. Nice. Oh, by the way, I'm a ninja. I'm surprised that's not an achievement in this game. FYI, I'm a ninja. Just for killing somebody by surprise. Look. Begging for your life won't help you now. You're the one who chose to shoot at a ninja. I'm sorry. I can't be held responsible for what I do to you now. You should have made wiser choices in life. Wrong choice number one. You became a video game terrorist. A must set video game is called Counter-Strike. That is always a bad idea. And even then, you're pushing it. Combo. Oh, right, Ninpo magic. Watch this. Dragon, dragon, rock the dragon, dragon, guy, den. Hey! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love this. These guys are so scared shitless by the giant dragon I just summoned from my hands. They don't even try to fight back. They just give up. More video games need to give you that kind of power. It's like, oh, screw it. I can't even fight that. You win, man. Ah, these guys aren't going to give up, though. You want to go after that guy as soon as possible. You really don't want... Just trust me on this one. I'm sure you'll see why here in a second. Another guy holding the weapon he did, but really, I don't want to have to deal with him right now. This is already going faster. How was that like 20 minutes by the time I got to this point in the last one? Oh, that was also technically because I died once. Now I'm used to the control, so it's not really an issue anymore. You know you've got a solid engine on your hands when the controls are so smooth you have to give your brain time to get used to them. Hey, get out of here. Okay, fine. I'll use my Ninpo now. This is the part that kind of bothers me. I was stuck here for minutes last time. Is there something I'm supposed to do? Like, am I supposed to use the Ninpo near the truck or something? Which kind of blasts it out of the way? Is it like a Sora's Wrath where I need to trigger the event? But they don't explain that is the thing. At least in a Sora's Wrath it was easy to figure out. I just needed to press the button. Well, I'll test out my theory and we'll see if it actually works. 
In the meantime, I just got to kill more of these guys. Not too big an issue, but really, it just takes some time. Ah, not today, pal. No rocket practice for you. Wait a minute. Am I good now? Can I use my Ninpo? Yes, I can. What I also like about this ability, you might not have noticed because I'm not taking a whole lot of damage here, is you actually regain health when you use that. So it's kind of like a get out of jail free card in that sense. If you're low on health, it'll actually be like you just finished an encounter and you can try again. I kind of like that. Last resort, basically. That's kind of what ninja magic should have been to begin with. Not just like it. Oh, here we go. My least favorite type of enemy so far in the game. Yeah, you're dead. Not letting you do that again. Not putting up with your shit right now. Look at that. Even Ryu's sick of you. You gotta be an idiot to make Ryu angry. Oh, ice? Okay, I gotta use strong attacks to get rid of the shield. I guess that makes sense. Of course, I've got nin Ninpo magic now, so... Dragon! Dragon! Rock the dragon! Dragon! Gaiden! Hey! I'm just gonna do that every time, just to annoy you guys. You'll heal based on how much key you have left. Oh, I see. So if you didn't use the ability... Ah, Falcon! Oh. <laughs> Falcons. <laughs> I want everybody to just take that in for a second. A Falcon just helped Ryu Hayabusa. What's stunning irony. <laughs> gonna be one of the most unintentionally funny things I've seen thus far this year. Thus far this year. Gotta enunciate, man. Otherwise people don't know what the hell you're saying. <laughs> 